right what is going on welcome to the channel all right special video for you all here today it is snowing we got a lot of snow here in the dmv area overnight got like a winter wonderland going over here so we're gonna test fsd out here in the snow and immediately you can see it's saying to go ahead and take over and afford due to system error so as you can see here if fsd is not um if, if the traction control kicks in or if the lines are not painted if for whatever reason it, it just can't go it will abort just like you saw right there and here we go we're going to attempt it again on this turn coming up here but i have a feeling i will skid out so i'm going to go a little bit slower than i am supposed to you know why the car wants to try to make a right here i'm going to actually try to go straight I know the route is a little bit easier this way um, here we go all right so I did have to do a takeover right there but now we got a really sharp turn coming up and all right so we went ahead and took over since we've got some oncoming traffic there and I didn't want to skid out so I went ahead and re-engaged it right there um, and from my experience I know that turn is very sharp right there so I had a little bit of trouble um, skidding through it and I didn't want to skid through it of course so here we go I went ahead and took over again just as far as the braking goes I don't want it to skid out of control again so I'd like to just go ahead and come to the stop myself at this red light which is here which I think looks like everything is good from here all right it says park assist unavailable which is interesting All right, so a little bit of a mission to get out of the neighborhood this morning, but let's see if it can handle the rest of the drive. It's showing 18 degrees this morning. Wow. Um, yeah, the defrost mode helped out a lot. Um, as I was getting ready, I just pumped it on defrost and I heard um, the fan speeds kick on to 10 and just it was working all morning as i was getting ready and as i got to the car the snow pretty much was all melted and it just knocked off by the time i got here and sat in the car hit the wipers i did have to get back out the car to clean off the roof and the cameras because autopilot will not work if the cameras are not clean so keep in mind they use the vision to see all right so here we go with the the red lights about to turn green so we can continue with this drive and it looks like it just started raining sleet it is 18 degrees so any rain coming down at this temperature is is sleet all right so we're gonna try to continue down a little bit here to see um, how FSD does on this drive already getting alerted with some system beeps and alerts warnings um, so we're gonna go extra careful on this drive here, but as you can see autopilot is enabled with the snow It's driving in the snow automatically, but extra cautiously um, because Yeah, if, if anything is wrong it will abort so you have to take over so I wouldn't count on it in the snow in the first place but if you got roads that you see like over here that are a little bit more salted and treated then you can kind of trust it a little bit more but on roads that I, I was just on where it's kind of snow covered you have to be super careful you can see the snow plows out there at the school over here it looks like the school is closed actually which I'm interested in. ah maybe I, I'm heading to work for no reason actually it's funny we'll see what happens when I get there but um, had no excuse to not show up so I wanted to make sure to go in plus how am I gonna miss my opportunity in driving in the snow so or supervising FSD to drive in the snow <laughs> so all in all I mean it's it's really important to, to just keep your eyes peeled if snow is covering the roads I would not be using autopilot or FSD um, look, you can see that emergency car heading that way, meaning there's probably a uh, crash or something that occurred because
because you have to be extra careful um so yeah with that being said um you just don't want to rely on autopilot in the snow um as soon as that traction control kicks in it will abort so if there's any snow on the road it, it really it's not going to go very far if you can get it going at like 15 miles per hour over snow um, at a steady speed it might be able to stay on but once it slides then autopilot will kick off so so really it's not really meant for inclement weather um, but at the same time you can see how I'm testing it and over time it may get better to to a point where all right see there I had to take over not sure why it wants to get into this right lane a little early um, whereas I actually want to make the right here and it's supposed to make get into this right lane like right about here so I'm gonna go ahead and re-engage it and see if it can go ahead and make this right turn for me yeah really nice job all right we're here on Cascades and it's doing a really good job um, the roads are pretty salted over here and treated really well so I'm not too concerned about autopilot on this road um, but all in all I'm really impressed by the way it drove so far this was really fun hit that like button if you enjoyed this video I will be bringing you some more snow FSD beta videos um, subscribe to the channel for more thanks again for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day stay warm out there